Hi, my name is Kendra from the Many Hoonies, and today I'm going to teach you how to do troublemaker makeup. First, I'm going to use this hair holder, and it'll keep our hair out of the way. And this really helps me. Basically, make sure you put it like on the front of your head. Try to keep in as much hair as possible. First, I'm gonna put this BB cream on to make my skin lighter. So first, I'm gonna use this eyeshadow base. It's made by the color workshop. So first, I'm gonna just gonna do like three swipes and then I'm gonna blend it in. So, one, two, three. Now I'm gonna blend it in. And then I'm gonna do the other side. That was really easy. Now we're gonna do an eye eyeshadow. Since the Trouble Makeup has like a pretty nice purple color, I decided to go with this. This is also made by the Color Workshop. So we're just gonna open it up and be very careful. So I'm gonna just buff it up with my eyeshadow leaving the inner corner space open. There might be a little glitter on it and that's okay. You could use a makeup wipe to clean it off also. So now I'm gonna use this light pink over here. So I'm gonna open it up and load my brush in there. It's just gonna be like a nice highlight. Now I'm gonna go back to the hot, the purplish pinkish eyeshadow and load it up with my eyeshadow applicator and put it on my lower lash line. But it's not really my lower lash line, it's just like the line that follows the lower lash line. So like oh, you wanna put it over here where I just put it to make like a nice sparkly color underneath your eyes. Blend it. Now I'm going to use the silver eyeliner and put it in the inner corners for a sparkly look. Now you're going to blend it with your finger. I'm getting all sparkly. I'm just going to do the other eye. What this does for me was open is open my eyes, make my eyes brighter, and give a little bit sparkle. Now I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Expert Liquid Liner. And line it as close as to the last line and give it a nice wing at the end because everyone, every um and it looks good with the wing. I'm gonna do the other side. If you wanna use a makeup wipe, you can, because I kinda messed up. This is my first time using liquid liner, so. I'm probably gonna go over it after. Ah. <laughs> now I'm gonna Use the makeup wipe and remove the mistakes I made. Messed it up. <laughs> I messed it up. It is so unexpected. <laughs> uh, oh my god. I'm gonna use this 
brown eyeliner um, from the color workshop to fill in my brows. I don't want a tattoo on my brows because I'm a kid and also you could always make a new shape with your to fill it in more to make my brows. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> This one was a big mistake. This is my eyebrows. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do blush. So I'm gonna go back to this eyeshadow. And instead of using a blush, I'm gonna use this eyeshadow as a blush. So this purple color, it's nice. Take my blush. Load it. I'm gonna load it up and apply it on the apples of your cheeks. You can kind of locate it um, when you smile a little bit. It's the ball of your cheeks, so you call it the apples of your cheeks. Okay, now lips. I decided to go um, like a dark purple outline since I didn't have a pink. Whoa. So I'm going to line my lips. Now I'm going to take this, um, this nude color and apply it. Since it's really pa pale, it's going to create like a nice hot pink. Or a nice purple. <laughs> and so I'm going to do my lips like really dark. Using this berry reddish purplish color by e.l.f. I'm gonna apply it over to make it a dark color. Now we're gonna use this lipstick and put it and fill it in again. So it's very cool because you don't twist it, you push it upward. So you push it upward, push it down. Yeah, so that's cool. For some extra sparkle and shine, I'm going to just put some of this on my cheeks and blend it in to make it more dark. And I kind of messed up on like the cheeks and the lips, but since it was a troublemaker look, I decided to make it differently and, and dark. Last step, false lashes. I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild. So I'm just gonna pop the glue out and be very careful with these lashes. They're brand new, so I don't wanna like break them or rip them. So what I do is just put some on. And do the same thing. Lash glue on, let them air, and put them as close to the lash line as possible. Cut. Careful because these are new. You don't want to mess it up. Okay, this is harder than it. I think I got them on. Oh my god. Um, put them a little bit more back. So, once you're done, just let them dry.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe here to our channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Get it all over the flesh. And then I'm going to put it on my lower lash line in the half.